हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव विच वॉज आस्क इन दी आई टी जे एम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी मैथमेटिकल स्टेटिस्टिक्स सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव विच इज ऑफ दी वन मार्क्स बिकॉज इट इज जस्ट फी फिलिंग दी ब्लैंक्स आर देर सो यू हैव टू पुट अप दी आंसर हेयर अप टू दी टू डेसिमल प्लेसिज वट इज द क्वेश्चन इज दिस इज द ज्वाइंट डेंसिटी फंक्शन दैट इज अ जे डी एफ आर देर एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड दी एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ दिस कंडीशनल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ दिस कंडीशनल आर देर That's a very simple. Are there? That's a very simple. I can try to complete this in within a one minute or one and a half minutes. Are there? Myself, Dr. Gar. You can simply follow this link for finding the various previous year videos. What is the logic behind is that whenever there is a question related to the some joint density function is asked in your gate statistics or the IIT JAM statistics, what you can do is you always draw to firstly this graph of this line. How you can draw the graph of this line is that's very simple. This is the line x is zero. This is the line x is equal to y, and this is the line of x y is equal to two. Remember that x is not to be less than of the two. This is the major concept behind that. This is x is y is equal to two. What is the common area between them is here. So once you will draw the graph of this, now you can write this expectation. So your target is to write this value. What is the what is the mean of this? This is x. You have to find the mean of the x. So this is the x of x condition when y is equal to one. So all of you know that what is the formula for the x condition y? This is nothing but f x comma y upon f y. But here y is given to you one. So this is f x comma one. So once you will substitute here as a one, this three by four is outside. This is nothing but my one minus x divided by f of y. So y is one. But what is the f of y? It is not given to you. So what is the f of y? This is nothing but my marginal. How you find the marginal distribution? That's a, again very simple. You can integrate from the x of this value. So what is the limit of the x? You can see from the x. You can take the strips on the x-axis. What is the value of the x here? Is zero. What is the value of the x here on this line? X is my y. So this is zero to y. So you can integrate them. You can see three by four is outside. This is nothing but my y minus x upon minus one from zero to y. So what is that? This is when you substitute y, it's a zero. When it's a zero, it will be my three by sorry, it's a minus. Uh, sorry, its integration is wrong. So you can integrate them again. What is that? This is nothing but my y minus x raised to power square upon minus of two. Now from zero to y. So what is the limit of this? Is when it's a y, it's a zero. When it's a zero, it's a y square by two. So three by eight. Y square. So now you can substitute the value here, but y is my one. So what is the answer of this? This is nothing but my three by four x of one minus x. What is the value of the y is one? When it's a one, it's my three by eight of dx. Now how you can solve that? This is nothing but my two. What is the limit of the x are there? You can see what is the minimum and maximum value from here is zero to one. So can you solve this integration? So after the solving this integration, it will be my one by two minus one by three. So it's my two by six, one by three. So up to the two decimal places is the required answer of this simple problem. So remember that you have to find the marginal functions at y is equal to one because y is one is given to you in the statement. This is the simple way you can solve this question. We will see some another questions in this. Uh, in our next videos related to the IIT jam till then you can simply follow this link and share this video with the others best of luck